in this video we will discuss about gene therapy and some basic idea uh, what gene therapy means and what are the different ways by which gene therapy can be implemented so what is gene therapy gene therapy is uh, the alteration of the gene that is uh, present in the patient so this alteration can be either suppression of the harmful genes that are presently been expressed in the uh, patient or uh, over ex or expression of the genes that are currently been uh, not expressed in the patient so this can be done uh, by different methods one of this is plasmid dna as we have discussed about this plasmid dna or foreign dna in uh, one of in our previous videos that uh, when the plasma when the foreign dna or plasmid dna enters inside the host cell it starts to produce protein that is been coded within the foreign dna however there are two kinds of uh, process or the transfection that we have discussed one is transient transfection another one is stable transfection so in gene therapy our focus uh, will be on the stable transfection as we want to integrate the foreign dna inside the uh, host genome or within the host genome so that patient will be able to cure and will not uh, face same problem in the future and so uh, uh, in gene therapy our goal is to get a stable transfection uh, next way by which we can do uh, or inject the foreign dna or do the gene therapy is viral vectors viral vectors are the vectors that are been derived from the viruses uh, that has the natural capability to go in uh, and transfect the human cells these viral vectors can be used to transfect the uh, to for gene therapy this bacterial vector bacterial vectors uh, also has the natural capability to uh, enter inside the cell however it has some harmful harmful effects also so by modifying this by bacterial vector um, in a way that it does not harm the host cells uh, we can use this bacterial vector to inject our gene of interest next one is the human gene editing technology in this human gene editing technology what uh, the base or we can say the basic idea behind this human gene editing technology is that is to either uh, suppress the harmful gene that has been expressed in the patient or to express the gene that are currently been not expressed and are essential for uh, in normal healthy life uh, last uh, one that is in the slide is patient derived cellular gene therapy so this is seems like more popular and safe as what happens in this is that is that some of the cells from the patient are been uh, grown extracellular uh, grown or uh, grown in a uh, culture medium and then they are being analyzed and modified uh, in a way that if some harmful gene are been expressed they are been suppressed or if there is no gene if there is so i think there is no expression of some essential genes that are being expressed so these cells are then modified and then uh, introduced back into the patient so that uh, this modified cell will uh, take over uh, the whole body in some duration in some time so this is considered as a uh, safest way as all the experiments more major part of the experiment are been done outside the body however there are also uh, methods by which this foreign plasmid can be introduced directly into the patient one of two uh, of them are mentioned here one is lipid nanoparticle via lipid nanoparticles and second is via aav aav is uh, just a adenovirus associated vector so this vector is derived from adenovirus just as the name suggests so 
let us understand one small example so this is one of the small example uh, of we can say in vivo in vivo gene therapy so this vector uh, that contains the gene modified dna as uh, of uh, that is required in order to cure the patient or uh, this gna need to be integrate with the host is been carried by the vector it binds to the cell membrane and and then when it enters inside the uh, cell mem uh, inside the cell or we can say in the cytosol uh, this gene of uh, we can say the vesicle breaks down and release the uh, vector or we can say the foreign dna and then it with the help of cellular machinery uh, it will start producing the cytosol at the same time some part of the at the same time some of the foreign dnas will move to the nucleus for host genome integ host genome and direct uh, integration Though the though the efficiency is low, however, with time, uh, because of the re reproducibility of the stable transfection, there is a possibility that it will take over the cells of will take over the whole body of the patient. So, however, uh, these things are still under uh, investigation. It's difficult to say at this point of time whether or uh, what are the uh, efficiencies or we can say possibilities to get a gene therapy with a targeted effect okay that's all for this video thank you for your time